Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice working with the volume of different geometric solids. So this first problem reads that a cylinder has a volume of 78 cubic centimeters. What is the volume of a cone with the same radius and height? Now, let's take a look at this cone right here that we have to find the volume of. Now, it said that this cone has the same radius and height as the cylinder that has a volume of 78 cubic centimeters. Now, if we take this cone and we drag it over to our cylinder and superimpose the figures, notice that they have the same radius length and they have the same height. Now, if we were to fill the cone with some sort of liquid or something like that, we would notice that the capacity would be less than the capacity of the cylinder. In fact, a cone with the same radius and the same height as its cylinder would hold exactly one-third the capacity of the cylinder. So the volume formula is going to be identical for both of those objects with one exception. You just take the volume of the cylinder and you divide by three. So if the volume of our cylinder is 78 cubic centimeters, that means everything here on the top of this formula is going to be 78 and then we just have to take that and divide it by 3 and that is going to be equal to 26 cubic centimeters. Now notice in this problem it didn't actually give us what the radius length is or what the height is of either object but what we do know is that the total volume of the cylinder is 78 so if I were to solve everything here for the numerator that would give us 78, and then we would take that volume of the cylinder and divide by 3 to get the volume of our cone. All right, let's go ahead and look at a second example involving volume. Okay, so we have a sphere here with a radius of 2.4 centimeters, and we have to calculate its volume to the nearest cubic centimeter. So the formula to find the volume of any sphere is 4 thirds multiplied by pi, and we are going to substitute 3.14 in this case, and take the radius length of our sphere, which is 2.4, and raise it to the third power. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do here is take care of this radius to the third power. So if we multiply 2.4 by itself three times, we end up getting 13.824. And I just plug this into a calculator really quick. And we have to take that result and multiply by 3.14. And we have to take that result and multiply by 4 thirds. So next we just punch these two numbers in a calculator and multiply them. And we're going to take that product and multiply by 4 thirds. And the result of these two numbers multiplied is 43.40736. All right, now what we have here is a fraction times a decimal. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're just going to treat this decimal as if it were a fraction like we just pretend that there's a 1 on the bottom here. So then we can just multiply the numerators together. And then we can divide that result by 3. So let's go ahead and multiply 4 times this number right here. And that would be equal to 173.629.44. Right. And now we have to take that product and divide by 3. And after doing that, we come up with 57.87648. Now the problem wants us to round to the nearest cubic centimeter, which means whole cubic centimeter. So basically we're asking ourselves, is this closer to 57 or 58? And because the first number after the decimal is an 8, 57.8 and some change is going to be closer to 58. So we're going to say that the volume 
is approximately equal to 58 cubic centimeters. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example that involves volume. All right, this problem reads that a cylinder has a radius of 1.2 meters with a volume of 40 cubic meters. Find the cylinder's height to the nearest tenth of a meter. All right, so the first thing we need to do is state our formula for the volume of a cylinder, which is volume is equal to pi times radius squared times the height of that cylinder. Now what we want to do is substitute all known values that are given in the problem. Now it states right away that the cylinder has a radius of 1.2. So we have to substitute radius with 1.2 and we're going to have to square that. Now they want us to find the height that is not given so we have to leave h as a variable. And a volume of 40 cubic meters is given so we substitute v with 40. Now they want us to calculate the height to the nearest tenth of a meter which means we have to use 3.14 for pi. So let's go ahead and substitute pi with 3.14. Although if you use the pi button on your calculator, if you have one, it's going to calculate pi to more than two digits. So it's actually going to be more accurate if you use that button on your calculator. So we have 1.2 squared and then h. Okay, so the only variable that we have remaining in this equation is h. So now we can actually isolate this variable to figure out what it is equal to. So the first thing that we have to do is take 1.2 and raise it to the second power. And 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as 40 equals 3.14 times 1.44 h. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is multiply 3.14 times 1.44, and that is equal to, according to my calculator, 4.5216. And we still have to multiply this by the height, and we still have a volume of 40 over here. So basically, we're looking for a height that when multiplied by 4.5216, would be equal to 40 and of course they want us to round to the nearest tenth of a meter. Now we have one step left and that is to get this h by itself and how we do that is to understand that this value right here directly in front of the h is our coefficient and to get rid of that coefficient you always divide that coefficient not only by itself on one side because that's going to turn it into 1, which leaves us with 1h, which is our goal, but we have to balance our equation and divide the other side by that value as well. So if I take 40 and divide it by 4.5216, we end up getting a value of 8.846 and a bunch of other digits which is unnecessary to write because we just need to round to the nearest tenth of a meter. So the question is, is our answer going to be rounded to 8.8 .8 or 8.9? And looking next door, four is not large enough to round this up to a nine. So we would say that the height of our cylinder is approximately equal to 8.8 .8 meters in length. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.